Now, in our application, nobody ever does this, okay? So nobody uses a text area as the content. So we're gonna use a WYSIWYG editor. And uh, in this case, I recommend Summer Notes, but you can use whatever WYSIWYG editor you want. So this WYSIWYG editor is just gonna help us input some HTML so that when we create the post, it looks nicely formatted. So let's take care of that. So in the getting started guide for our summer notes, we just need to include the summer notes, CSS and JS right here. Okay, so we go to our app.blade and right here in our app.blade, if we include it here, yes, it's gonna be available to all pages, but we want it just on this page. Now, how are we gonna make this available? Let's create a new section in our layouts. And uh, we're gonna say right down at the bottom, yield a new section so we'll say add yield and this section is gonna be scripts right here that's the name of the section called scripts okay and we're also gonna yield a new section called styles so we'll yield a new section called styles so it means any file that is inheriting or extending this layout will be able to inject some stars and some scripts and notice where I put the stars in the head and the scripts right down there before the body tag ended so i'll head over to my create.blade.php for my post and i'll be able to create a new section so notice right here we have a section for content we'll just have a section for our stars just like we defined and we'll stop that section there and we'll have a section for our scripts and we'll stop that section Okay, so for our styles, when we put in some styles, it's gonna be injected into our layout right at the top here and the script right at the bottom right here. Okay, so let's copy that style and we're just gonna reference it by CDN and I'll head over to my create and for the styles, I'll have that and for the script, I'll also have that. So we've successfully installed summer notes. How do we run summer notes? So we just need to give it an ID and would run the script to activate summer notes okay so if we check out a simple example we just have a div id and then as soon as it's loaded using jquery then we execute summer note so let's just copy that script and again this script is just gonna run on this page so we'll put it right there uh, but we need a script tags and automatically remember by default level is loading jquery so we can go ahead and use this okay so right here we have a hashtag summer note meaning the summer note the field with id of summer note and where do we have that since we want to transform our content right here we're gonna set that field so content right here is gonna have an idea of summer note or we can give it an idea of content and head down right here and change this to content right here okay so that should work perfectly let's refresh and see and we see right there there's a wheezy week editor so perfect now we can actually create good content using our application so everything is working perfectly the WYSIWYG editor is there and we view the page source we discover that at the bottom we have those links and at the top we also have the link but if we visit another page but these two pages are extending the same layout we don't have that and also at the bottom we don't have that so we've created new content, new sections called scripts and stars, and we're using that to input data for our fields. So we have a WYSIWYG editor and we have everything set up to build our front end. But there's just one little thing that I want to show you before we do that. So see you in the next video.